Hello, my name is John McCall and this is my project for Mateo Aboy's Engineering 267 class at Oregon Tech. My specific project analyzes quadratic drag projectile motion versus idealized projectile motion. On the screen here we can see the GUI that I have created from an original function and I have also packaged the GUI as an app that can be opened in the MATLAB apps tab. So we'll jump right into this. On the right hand side of the screen here the text denotes well, what the app does the equations used to derive the quadratic drag as well as what the visual representation is going to be. This bottom half talks about the parameters that you need to stay within for your initial values. Um, your initial velocity, angle range, mass, and diameter all need to be positive with a trajectory angle between 0 and 90 degrees. So we'll test one out here. We'll start at 1 meter high with a velocity of 48 meters per second trajectory angle of 37.5 degrees with an angle range of 15 degrees, a mass of 0 0.148 kilograms, and a diameter of 0 0.073 meters. And this is the size of a baseball, so we'll be plotting the trajectory of a baseball. The top graph here you see is the quadratic drag and the bottom is the idealized. The blue lines in both are the true values given and the yellow line is a plus minus one half the angle range and the green is plus minus the entire angle range. Note that over the angle range the trajectory is not uniform in the quadratic drag as it is in the ideal projectile motion. That is because quadratic drag is a change in drag in the x and y direction as the velocity in the x and y direction changes so we would not expect it to be uniform. And uh, you can also see that the trajectory distance uh, here the max distance is 225 meters and here is 100 meters. So you can see the difference between an idealized which would be in a vacuum versus um, a more realistic um, representation of project, projectile motion. Thank you.